Okay. This first page. Bakar, hands up first. Come on. Help us understand the question number one. What are we doing in this question? So we have to look from the right. Look from the right hand side. And what would you see, Bakar? Um, B. You would see no. I don't think you'd see B. You would see? Mm. Okay, now let's, let's see how you would see C. So you see this one here first. Put that one block. And then there's one inside here. That'll be next to it. And then you got this one, which will be next to it. You won't see from the side, one at the front, one at the back, one at the front. From the side, you'll just see them all in one place. You can't see backwards and forwards. Same from the top. You can't see what's up, what's down, because from the direction you're looking at. So those three bottom ones will appear to you in a straight line. And then, what's next, what's left for us to see? The one which is above it. The one which is above it, behind, will be seen at the front. You won't, you can't tell it's behind and front. So the answer has to be C. Okay, mine is actually turned around. Okay, lovely. Question number two, Hiba. Okay, can you make it rid of my drawing for the moment? Whoops. All right, so uh, now we've got a blue, blue block in there. So the blue block has to be in this, pos so in this right place. Go on. So if you're looking from there, you're going to get D. D looks beautiful answer. I like well, D. Why? You would see that in a row, you can see there's one at the back. That's, how, that's going to be where? There. That's going to be there. And then this one here is going to be? Right yeah, the one at the right at the back is going to be where? Put that at the left. And what's going to be seen at the top? At the top would be a square, but it's not any ordinary one. It has to be blue. Fantastically explained. Fantastic. Lovely. Question number three. Hafsa. What are you going to see? A. You're going to see A. Okay, explain to me why you see A. Because you can only see one square on the edge. On the left, here, oh, this one here on the edge, yes? Yeah. That one, okay, and then? And then you'll see two on top. Two on top over here. There's actually, you see two on top, there's actually two. Yeah, you won't see, you won't see the one that's popping out. That'll be just seen at the same level as the one that's behind it, like that. And what about, uh, what's happening here? What's happening between the two blocks here? There is a what? There's a gap. Okay, so you can't have that one. And this one's got a gap here and there. And it's missing the two pieces on the top. So they're just wrong. Question number four. Let's have uh, uh, Safa. Um, what would you see for number four? You would see... You wouldn't see the blue one. Okay, isn't it three levels here? Isn't there gonna be, for example, if you do, do, do a grid, you're gonna have one and then a gap. So you got one here, you got a gap, and then another one there, is that right? And above the first one, you have another one, and then you seem to have one in the middle here. There. So isn't there gonna be like one here and the one on top of it? So wouldn't we actually see A for number four? Yeah, no. No? I think I'm confused. The answer they're giving us is what? B. B. What 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 no, no, it does. It does say, uh, but I don't see how A is not the answer because, because yeah, because I think that if you look over here, and look, if you look over here, you have one row, second row, third row, and then you have on top of the first row, so you have this one, and then you have the gap, but you got one at the bottom of the back, yeah. Yeah. so yeah, yeah. so I can see that one, which is this one here, I can see, and in the gap, in between the gap, I can see the blue one. And then I can see these two grey ones, which are no, these two grey ones. No, sir. Go on. Sir, basically what happens is that, is that you see the blue one, there's also a square in front of it. So if you look on the other side, it will be blocked because the other square's coming. Well, then it still can't be B because there's a gap there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah there is a gap between can the two squares. So you have to see A. Okay. No, no. I, I think they've done a mistake. Yeah. Hang on a second. So, you can see this one here at the front. You can see that grey block in between over here. You can see this grey block over here. You can see this grey block over here. You can see this grey block over here. And then if you keep on looking through the middle, that blue block's not on the first row. That blue block's not on the second, third row. It's on the second row. Yeah. So you would see it. Please go, uh, Safa. Okay. So my answer is B. I'm gonna 
one second. Okay, your answer is B. Okay, B is correct. Now I can explain. Okay, now if you look at B, you can go to your, your answers correct straight away because let's let's have a let's look at it. You have a gray with the big gray, so you have a gray with the big gray, so they match up straight away. Okay, and then you every you have more grays all the way along the sides, not more than one gray gap, one white white gap. So you can't have all these gaps here. You can't have all grays because they're not in together, and you can't have one gray by itself without another gray down here. So they're wrong. It has to be B because of the patterning on the grays on the side. Yeah. So that one's not a complex one. Question number six. Somebody else, please. Hafsa, go for it. The answer is C. Okay. Explain to me how you got C as your answer. It can't be B because it's only two white black shapes. No, it can't be B because these two are touching each other. Yeah. As well. And it can't be A because only the two since it's a rectangle, only only the two. On the opposite sides are yeah, grey. So yeah, they can't be touching. So this bit here, this connection is not allowed. So and they can't be like this. What about D? And these are white. Yeah, so the sides have to be, something has to be white on the sides. Sorry, gray on the sides. Should be should have been gray here, for example. Because it's not gray, so something's missing. So D is definitely wrong. It has to be C, lovely. Question number seven, Kinza, yours, go. Answer first. Is it B? Seven is B, why is it B? Because when we put, there's gonna be a blue shape, the L shape's gonna be blue. And how, uh, what's the other blue shape? Is it small or big? Small it's a really small blue one. So you have a blue here and a blue there. Can you have a blue here and a blue here and a blue there? No. no. Okay, what about C? Because it's got a long rectangle with the blue. And blue so you did the fine, fine. Now, what about C? Why is C not the answer? In the, in the diagram, when we're going to make the net and we're going to fold things, should the two blue bits touch? No. In the diagram here, when you fold it, it makes the shape. When that goes around this one, that pops down. These two should touch. Are they touching in C? No, okay. So in C, the two I blue see, bits that should touch. I see the D, there's, no, um, there's no touching? Yeah. yeah, there's no touching going on. And also, it's the wrong side. This is a side like this. It's not one of these bits. So again, they got the wrong bits. So yeah, I absolutely. The only view that you'll see is B because they got the blue on the, on the what? On the other side. Absolutely. So the blue is over here. So you can't you can't say oh no I have to see two. You can actually just see the one. Do you see that? That's a bit clever. That is. Even though they got two shaded, they're showing you a view where you would only see one. So be ready for that. So don't say oh yeah it has to be two it has to be two because the shoulder is two. No. Next one is grey shading. Safa go. Number eight. Your answer? Number eight. My answer is C. Explain why A is wrong. Because it can't be A because there are too many bites. So this one's good. Okay. The front piece is good. What about this side piece here? Can a side piece be... No, because there are two greys touching on the... Ah. So you got two greys touching here. Or we've got three whites isn't on the side. And it can't be B because you know that... These two greys. Yes. No, um, I mean that grey at the bottom on the first thing. Yeah, okay, by the way, you know when you fold the shape up, where will the greys be? At the top. At the top. When you fold this shape, these two bits will flap up and that bit will flap like this. So this bit will touch that bit. So on top of this, there should always be a grey here. There must be a grey in the diagram. Here. Here. There must be a grey here. So, so we can cross out B. Yeah, what about, what about D? Because there aren't two greys touching each other. If there's only two greys and they have to be touching each other. Okay, so I can see, okay. I can see that these two here, these two here will I make up which ones? Those two, is that right? Yeah. Folks, yeah, the from the bottom, grey, and so grey will touch here and grey will touch there. So touch, touch. And then we have a white one touching here, white here, so that's all grey like that. Now, uh, why is C the answer? Go on, your brain. Because um, the greys are on the wrong side. Um, so, so when it's folded um, up, it'll only be on like one. But that's the same this as C though. Two greys. So yeah. you should, we should have two greys on the side, like it's up here, yes? And there. And then one touching the top, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
So it should be on the side, on the side, on the top. Yeah, yes? Yeah, they can't, um, both white and grey can't have um, the greys on the same side. Okay, uh, are you talking about this side here? They've got white here. So they got white? Yeah. No, I get what he means. White, grey, grey. But oh, then if you turn it around, it's going to be the Yeah, because that's on the right side. If you turn it around, those two greys are going to be the other side. So it's yeah. B. That's it. Around, then okay. Let's stop there for one moment. <laughs> Making the shape. Okay, if we worked it out that you can actually make it. Alright, let's go to. Okay, next question. Wow, that was exciting. Okay, next we work out which 3D figure in the grey box has been rotated to make the new 3D so figure. I do these? I love those. Okay. Nobody's going to do all of them. Let's start with Kinza. Kinza number 9. Is it C? Question number 9. Is it C? Let's have a look. Number 9 is C. So number 9, you have to visually imagine the shape being turned around. So this one here has been turned around this way and then turn around that way to make it lie down on the side to give you C. Question number 10, uh, Faha, number 10. Number 10 is D. Number 10 is D. Let's see how that, I'm on the wrong place. Yeah, you're on the oven. No wonder. Number 10 is D, yeah, because so we, yeah, because you can see those two feet part and the bit that's sticking out and the one bit that's sticking out that way. If you were to turn it sideways and turn it around, so there's a lot of rotation going on there. Question number 11, Ibrahim. 11 is A because in A you have like three shapes, a long one, medium one and short, and then in 11 you want to like a long, two long um, shapes and a short one. Okay. Good. Okay, number 11, we're going to go for A, correct? Number 12. Okay, number 12, let's have a uh, Hafsa. Okay, number 12, we're going for F. So what they've done for number 12, for F, they've turned the shape around, rotated it and flipped it. Number 13, Bakar. Correct, 13 is B. Number 14, uh, let's have Aisha. Number 14 is E. Because E, where's the one with the E? Okay, you got that one, the bit that sticks out, you got the other piece there. Those two are on the same level. Okay, lovely. Okay. Question number 13. Faha, start it up. Sorry, 15, go on. It would be Read it, question. The figures on the left show different views of the same cube. All the cube faces are different. Work out which of the options would replace the blue cube face. Okay, lovely. So we're looking for a face that will join onto the bottom of the square and the bottom of the triangle. So for number 15, what will that be? C. 15 is C. Okay, let's have a look. So we put that on there. That goes into the circle. Circle goes onto the. Are we happy with 15 being C? Yeah. Because if you look over here, the diagonal of the triangle, what shapes do you have? A square and the rainbow. And the rainbow shape. Okay, now on the flat part of the of the triangle, what shape do you have right next to it? That, that, that. So on the flat part here, we're expecting to have that part. Good. Question number 16. Safa, number 16, answer? A. A. Okay, explain why it's A. Why is A going to be at the top part of T and on the side of that little sign? Um, because From the which diagram do we look at? The first one. The first one. Above the T, the one touching the T is that same symbol there. That picture, so that has to go there. 
for that reason, okay? We're happy? Question number 17, uh, let's have Harim. What goes, what is the, that little chevron pointing towards? Oh, that's, uh, I'm glad you can see this blue square. What, which is the, which shape is it pointing to? To the square, we don't even have a square. Okay, this shape here, let's start again here, Reem. This shape here is pointing towards which shape goes here. So if you look at the uh, diagram, and uh, what will it be pointing towards? Or this one, we, we haven't got this one anywhere else. It's A, why is it A? Ibrahim, explain. It's A because in the first, on the first cube, there's a teardrop pointing to the um, shield thing. And then to that shape there, the, yeah, which is going to be over here, isn't it? It's going to be there. Yeah, so that means the um, arrow thing is also pointing. That's to right. It. So um, in front of the arrow must be um, A. Fantastic. Question number 18. Okay. Have you done one of these so far? Yeah. Okay, somebody else. Aisha, number 18, answer please. Okay, let's have uh, Hafsa, 18. The what do you get? A. Answers A. Explain why you think the answer is A. Because you see the squares there. For the first one, there's going to be like an arrow pointing that way. And then if the arrow's pointing that way, the other side next to the square, that must have the G then. Okay. Yeah. Are you talking about which, which cube are you talking about first? The first one. The first one. In the first one, we have an arrow pointing up. And we have that pentagon shape pointing towards the arrow. Okay, we're gonna be turning it around. So we're gonna have, okay, we have the chevron and that's the T. Okay, are we happy that it's gonna be the chevron, not any other shape? Ibrahim, can you do a better explanation, please, for number 18? What's happening? So on 18, in the first one. Yeah. Because um, look, at the commonality is the square. And we're just turning it around, so it's gone from here, it's at the top, it's that, so that's moved from the side to the top and other shapes have been popped out, so we'll, we'll be underneath it. Go on, explain so, it. So in the first one, we started at the um, pentagon and the arrow next to it. Yes. On the second one, it's two different shapes, which means it's like they have crossed each other. Yeah, they turned it around? Yeah, they turned it around completely. And it also means that the arrow would be on the side, on the left side, which means um, that um, shape on the top on the second cube would be next to the arrow, so that's the A. Okay, right, you got your cubes. I want you to make that cube. Let's, let's see how it looks. That's the end of this particular video. Recap of test number four. Okay, question number one for her go. What's the answer? B. The answer is B. If you look at it from the side, you will see the grey on the bottom. And you see the grey on the bottom. I see the which one is here above it? The blue. And if you carry on looking this way, you'll see also the blue again over here. Mm -hmm. Done. Question number two. Let's have Kinza. What would you see if you look from the side for number two? You would see A. You would see A. Because you would see the blue here, blue here, grey here, grey here, gray, uh, blue at the back and grey at the front. Done. <coughs> Question number three, Hafsa. Answer. C. C. Okay, if you turn the, if you look that way, you'll see this side with the small and the medium one. Small, medium and the long one at the back. Done. Question number four, Bakar. D. You're saying you can see D. So if you look from that corner, you'll see that small blue block. Small blue, small blue, the medium one, medium one, and the medium one going across the bottom on the other side, medium one. D. Done. Okay. Next question. So which work out which blocks would make to make that shape for question number five? Hafsa, go. The answer is A. Answer is A. So here's the block, this one, here's that one, and here's that one, good. 
Done. Question number six, Ibrahim. Six is A. Six is B. Six is B. Okay. So six is B because you're gonna have the L shape. So where's the L shape? The L shape is actually running behind, and in front you have the cube in front of it. So there's the L shape and there's a single cube. Lovely. Question number seven. Okay, Safa. B, that took some time. Enough time to make a cup of tea. Okay, so you have the small one there. You have the L shape behind it, covered. Little one in the front, little one in front, done. Question number eight, Bakar. Is number, is number eight B? Correct. So you have one L going this way, that one. One L going that way, that one. One little block, one little block, done. Okay, folding now. Are we talking about folding? Okay, lovely. Question number nine, Harim. Is it L? Yes, if you fold the top part, it'll fold onto the bottom part. Question number 10. Oh yeah, back on. We go. Okay. Let me second, let me just pause the video. Right, question number 10, I'll go through myself. Question number 10, test number 4. Our answer is C if you fold it. Okay. It's yes, so a which option shows the figure on the left when folded along the dotted line. So for number 10, what we got for number 10? Hippa. Okay, so we can't have A, so if you fold it, hang on, so we'll visualize that the way. You're not going to get a boat, so that one's wrong. If you fold it, it'll go along here, and we all will see what they got there. Okay, that folds on itself. That will fall down here, like that. We'll give you that kind of shape. Will you have the shape behind it as well? Okay. One second. Right, so what they've done here, they folded the shape here along this line up here. So you will have the small piece on the bottom, which is this small piece. This is small. And this large side will be at the top. And it will, and the other shape which is at the top, it gets covered, it gets behind it. So we have no uh, no kind of overlapping that comes out and juts out. So it won't be any of these lot. Okay, question number 11. Uh, let's have a sofa. Okay, drills, all right. Yeah. For number 11, the answer is? C. Because when you fold the shape over, this bit here is more dominant. It will actually cover up that shape and be like this. And you won't see the shape on these. So in this particular shape, there's no kind of dotedness or anything that goes behind. So the answer has to be C. Question number 12, you fold it along the dotted line. It should give us what? For number 12? Anybody? Okay, Aisha, number 12. Um, it, it will be um, B because it's, it's a line of symmetry. And it's at the right angle. These ones, the, the angles have changed. They've changed the actual angles and you've got bits hanging over them. Has to be D, fantasy. Number 13 for her. B. Number 13, if you fold it there, you'll get what? You'll get shape B. Shape B. So this bit that's going this way will then go that way for the folding over. So you'll have this part joining it on this side over here. Good. Question number 14 to 17. Okay, let's have Hafsa, uh, which is the one that, these ones are the ones that you can make. Sometimes they ask you which one you can't make. So this is the positive, affirmative one. Go. So number 14, what's your answer and what's the reason? The answer is C. Number 14, the answer is C. All right, let's have a look. So we have the square touching the circle. Square touching the circle. And the square also going to touch the... That kind of cross, yeah? And so if you look at the shape, it makes the shape of a Christmas sock. Yeah, when you put gifts in. Does anybody need me to kind of show them the image again? Why is it a sock? A stocking. A stocking. 
Okay, lovely. Question number 15, Hamza. Answer, please, number 15. Is it C? No, number 15 is not C. Okay, Faha? B. B. Right, let's have a look. We got this bit facing the corner of the triangle, the, the corner is the uh, star. Yeah, that's good. Those two bits together. And what's next to it? The square. The square, which is here, yeah, and they all meet around the corner. And that gives us our traditional stocking. Okay, so that's B again. Lovely. Question number 16, Ibrahim. Answer. D. Answer is D. Let's have a look. So we have our, oops, uh, our little grey L. And then we have these two over here. And that's called the disconnected sock. So it's like a sock, but there's a, there's a piece that's a, there's a gap in between here. There's a little gap here. Are we happy with that? So the circles are really touching it on the side like this. And then when you fold this up, this one will come to the top, touch it here and touch it down here. So they will meet on that side. Question number 17, Aisha. Number 17 is A. Why is it A? This is called the, this is actually called the disconnected sock there. So, if you look over here, this triangle is facing the white bit, the triangle is facing the white bit, and then this T, at the bottom of the T will join on the bottom, on the side of the air, on the side, when you fold everything. Okay, that's the end of that one.